Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Based on whatever we have studied so far, let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Give 4 rational numbers equivalent to 5 by minus 3. Okay, so what is the number that is given to us? 5 divided by minus 3. Now, what is the process that we follow to get equivalent rational numbers? The simple thing that we do is, we, we multiply the numerator and the denominator with the same number so that the overall value remains unchanged. But at the same time, we get a different rational number. For example, if you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, your overall value remains unchanged. But at the same time, your new rational number becomes 10 divided by minus 6. So 10 by minus 6 is a rational number which is equivalent to 5 by minus 3. So in a similar way, you can get more rational, more equivalent rational numbers by multiplying the numerator and denominator with different numbers. Like when you multiply them by 3, you get 15 divided by minus 9. So in a similar way, you multiply it by 4, so you get 20 divided by minus 12. Now if you multiply the numerator and denominator by minus 1, so what do you get? You get minus 5 divided by 3. So all of these numbers, 10 by minus 6, 15 by minus 9, 20 by minus 12, minus 5 by 3, these are all equivalent to 5 by minus 3. Question number 2. The points P, Q, R, S, T, U, A and B on the number line are such that T, R is equal to R, S is equal to S, U. T R, this length is equal to R S is equal to S U. So these three lengths are equal. Similarly, A P is equal to P Q is equal to Q B. So these three lengths are also equal. Name the rational numbers represented by P, Q and S. This is P, this is Q and this is S. So we have to tell what is that exact rational number represented by these. Okay, so let us first focus on PQ. So here very clearly we can see that P and Q they lie between A and B. So that means both P and Q they lie between 2 and 3. Correct? So the points P and Q they lie between 2 and 3. So somewhere between 2 and 3. Now if you actually look at this entire section, the section from 2 to 3, you see that it is divided into 3 equal parts. So now when you look at point P, so this point P is one part out of these three parts, right? Because from A to B, this entire part is divided into three equal parts and point P, that is AP, this much distance is just one part out of these three parts. So basically what would be point P when you measure it from the origin which is O because we may make all the measurements on the number line from 0 from the origin. So from 0 when you measure it till here it is 2 and after 2 you have this P which is 1 third 1 by 3 right. So therefore point P would be nothing but 2 plus 1 by 3. Still here it is 2 and then here this is 1 by 3. So what is 2 plus 1 by 3? So 3, 6 plus 1 that is equal to 7 by 3. So point P is 7 by 3. So another way of looking at it is now since here we see that the section between 2 and 3 is divided into 3 equal parts that means each of these sections between 1 to 2 that is also divided into 3 equal parts 0 to 1 is also divided into 3 equal parts. So if you start numbering from here, you see it is 0. So this is 1 third because it is 1 part out of 3 equal parts. So this would be 2 third, this would be 3 by 3, this would be 4 by 3, this would be 5 by 3, this would be 6 by 3. So that way is also point P is 7 by 3. What is point Q? Point Q is 8 by 3. What is point B? It is 9 by 3 which is 3. So this is also another way of looking at it. So from both the approach what do you see? You see that point P is 7 by 3 and point Q is 8 by 
3. So this is how we found out P and Q. Now let us focus on R and S. So this is also going to be in a very similar way because here also if you see this section from between minus 1 and minus 2 this is also divided into three equal parts. So what would be point R? So point R is just one part this much part out of three equal parts right. So when you look at R so R would be nothing but minus 1. So here you have minus 1 and then with minus 1 you have to add another one third. Right. So how much does that become? So here also let's have a look. So in this case also let's follow the same procedure. So one process is that minus 1 plus 1 by 3. So you get the value of R. The other procedure is since minus 1 to minus 2 is divided into 3 equal parts that means 0 to minus 1 is also divided into 3 equal parts. So if this is 0 the first part would be minus 1 by 3. This would be minus 2 by 3. T would be minus 3 by 3. So R would be minus 4 by 3. S would be minus 5 by 3. So basically R is minus 4 by 3 and S is minus 5 by 3. So in this fashion we found out the rational numbers represented by P, Q, R and S. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.